Amen? Now, let's go forward into something else I want to take you now. Stay right there because we're going to come back to where we are at. I want to fast forward a little here. We already used the Bible to show that when someone gets sick, sickness can be caused either because of what? Glory or the violation of laws, whether spiritual or natural laws. Now, let's get a definition for disease. I'm teaching from a book called Pathways to Health and Happiness, and here's what it says in Pathways to Health and Happiness. Number one, it says here that disease never comes without a cause. Disease never comes without a cause. Amen? Disease never comes without a cause. If that's clear, you say amen. amen. Yes, Sister Sarah liked to make a statement. You know, when I went Sister Sarah, she tend to make a statement that disease never comes without a cause. Isn't that something? I have a friend by the name of Sister Sarah, and she tend to make a statement saying what? Disease never comes without a cause. And listen to this right here. What is the definition for disease? Does anyone know? What is the definition for disease? Does anyone know? Huh? Let me hear you. I heard some. Uh-huh. What does it say? Okay, you're pretty much on the right area, dear. Yes, my dear. That is correct. Let me, let me read it here for you. It says that disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from the violation of the laws of health. Isn't that something Sister Sarah liked to... Sister Sarah is absolutely something, isn't she? Yes, yeah, Sister Paul said, her blessed be the name of the Lord. As I was saying, Sister Sarah would normally make a statement saying, disease what? Never comes without a cause. And what's the definition that Sister Sarah will use? Disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from the violation of the laws of health. Isn't that the keys to the success or the keys to the vehicle, you can say? Isn't that something? Huh? Did you guys get that? Isn't that something? Yes. So let's repeat that now. Disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from the violation of the laws of health. Huh? Huh? What page is that? Well, I'm using the book Pathways to Health and Happiness, but it says here it's like from 128, but I think it's 127 in the book Ministry of Healing is where you'll find that. Medical, medical room. Isn't that something? Yes. Yeah, 127. 127. Um, so we understand here that disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from the violation of the laws of health. Now let me ask you guys a question. What are the laws of health? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what are the laws of health? That is correct. We use an acronym called what? New START. And it stands for nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God. These are the true remedies. Listen to the saints. This is deep, what you just heard right there. What I'm basically doing is using this to set up the form that I gave you guys. Do you see this form? If you look on the form, it's what? It's about the eight laws of health. I just want to show you how this form come into place. Huh? Did he, are you following me here? The definition of disease is what? Disease is an effort of nature to free the system from conditions that result from the violation of the laws of health. You tell me the violation, I'll tell you the disease. Or you tell me the disease, and by God's grace, I'll tell you the violation. Am I making sense there? 
Like, for example, I remember I was looking at a young lady, and she had some darkness under her eye. And I said, my dear, do you normally go to bed late at night? She says, yes, I do. Huh. The other day, I saw this young girl, 13 years old, right around her neck, was dark, kind of black. And when I saw that, I knew what the sign was. And I sat down with her aunt and this young lady, put this little 13-year-old on the plan. When I got back to California, her neck was cleared up again, cleared up. That young lady was showing early signs of being predisposed to type 2 diabetes. Early signs. And then when there's too much insulin in the body, it begins to mark the body. Marks the side of the face, sometimes it marks onto the neck, it marks the arms, you know, different areas like that. And it's the most amazing thing. Um, went back, the young lady was much slimmer, trimmer, and she was just so excited. It was absolutely unbelievable to just see how things work in this young lady's life. Uh, what this form is, if you take a look at the form, you'll see the form concern, con, um, contains all of the laws of health. Let me tell you something. We are told in the writings that all manner of sickness and disease are going to come from the violation of laws of health. All manner of sickness and disease. Let me share something with you. Don't try and understand all of these diseases. You cannot understand the diseases. Let me give you a perfect example of how it works. I can't remember the gentleman's name, but I'll tell you this whole, I'll tell you the story. There's this gentleman who was over the U.S. Treasury. And they went to him and it says, look, Mr. So-and-so, with all the problems we are having as a nation with counterfeit, how can you tell the difference between that which is real and that which is counterfeit? And you know what he said? He says, there's so much counterfeit, he can't study the counterfeit. So what he does, he studied the real so well that when the counterfeit come, he can identify it. Am I making sense there? You cannot study these diseases. They are too vast. Many of them have mutated. Many of them have changed. Many of them mimic each other. Am I making sense there? So it's hard to study disease, individual diseases. But guess what he can study? The laws of health. Because the laws of health are fixed laws. You study the laws of health so well that when you see the disease, sit back and watch the glory of God. If I can get some water. Am I making sense so far in terms of what I'm saying? Okay? So whenever you're working with someone, don't try and get into trying to study these diseases in depth. You should have an understanding of the disease. Don't get me wrong. However, your main focus should be where? Laws of health. Because that's the cause of sickness and disease. Aha. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Then there's some additional instructions that are given. This is what it says here. It says, in case of sickness, the cause should be ascertained. Aha. Uh -huh. So if someone has a problem, find out the cause. And then it says here, go to work intelligently to remove the cause. Then nature is to be assisted. Assisting nature with nature. Okay? Does that make sense? So if someone is constipated, should we immediately say, let's do a colonics on the individual? No. Leave them constipated. Am I making sense to you? Leave them constipated so we can identify the culprit. You go and clean them out. Shortly after, they're constipated again. Okay? And you may probably say to me, Brother Luke, what's your position on um, colonics and different things like that? Saints, listen, I believe in using every possible natural means as possible, but sometimes we can be intemperate in terms of overusing things and becoming dependent on certain things. I can tell you personally, I have never once had colonics done on myself, nor have I ever administered it or recommended it. Would I recommend it? Of course I would. But I've never had to. 
I'll give you a perfect example. There's this 